about me. It's time to embrace the dark arts. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 evil movie wizards. For this list, we're taking a look at individuals with magical abilities that use their powers for wickedness. You poor simple fools. Whether they're voodoo witch doctors, sorcerers, or some other sort of supernatural villain. Yes. Number 10, Shang Tsung, Mortal Kombat. Flawless victory. This evil sorcerer hosts the Mortal Kombat Tournament and is out to conquer Earth in the name of his emperor Shao Kahn. Your soul is mine. Chang Sung is an expert shapeshifter and can take the form of any of the Mortal Kombat combatants, making him not only a powerful wizard, also one of the tournament's most formidable fighters. Flawless victory. A brilliant and manipulative villain, Chang Sung bends the tournament rules as far as he can in order to win. Why else would I have chosen such a disreputable looking creep? Look at him. No dignity, no manners. Every fight against this sorcerer is a duel to the death, and not only does he take his victims' lives, but their souls as well. Your brother's soul is mine. <gasps> Number 9, Jareth the Goblin King, Labyrinth. What's sad is sad. If you saw Jareth walk down the street, you'd probably assume he was an eccentric hairstylist, fashion designer, or David Bowie playing dress-up. Go back to your room. Play with your toys and your costumes. Forget about the baby. But in actuality, he's the king of the goblins who causes a world of trouble for a young Jennifer Connelly in Labyrinth. Dance, magic, dance. While he's prone to making people regret what they wish for and is something of a sexual predator, his fabulous singing chops and over-the-top persona will pull a spell on anyone. Jareth is the one wizard on this list you'd kind of want to hang out with, but he's still so deliciously evil. Your eyes can be so Number 8, Mola Ram, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. The high priest of the terrifying thuggy cult is an intimidating figure himself, strutting around his evil lair wearing an imposing skull-like headdress and commanding over his disciples with little more than a facial expression or a stern word. You. Able to control others, even Indiana Jones himself, with the help of a special elixir known as the Blood of Kalima, Molaram uses his powers in an effort to see the entire world bow down to Kali. It's a thuggy ceremony. They're worshipping Kali. Overconfident and determined in his quest, Mola Ram is so single-minded, he's not above human sacrifice to achieve his goals. Other wizards, eat your hearts out, or he might yank it out for you. Number 7, The Horned King, The Black Cauldron. Oh, my soldiers, how long I have thirsted to be a god. Here's a Disney villain that doesn't get nearly as much recognition as he deserves, and many would argue that you could say the same thing about The Black Cauldron. I presume, my boy, you are the keeper of this oracular pig. The Horned King is a bit like Skeletor, only, you know, legitimately intimidating. With a whispery voice that always echoes, a demonic face that's often hidden in the shadows, and hellish eyes, his presence is guaranteed to send a shiver up even the bravest warrior's spine. This had better not be your fault. <laughs> but uh, it needs another body, sire. Yes. Yours. It's a devilish marriage of stunning Disney animation and the great John Hurt's voiceover performance. Now I call on my army of the dead. Number 6, Loki, Marvel Cinematic Universe. I am Loki, 
of Asgard, and I am burdened with glorious purpose. Derived from Norse mythology, Loki has been a part of popular culture for eons. Once you accept that, in your heart, you will know peace. However, it's Tom Hiddleston's portrayal in the Marvel Cinematic Universe that's defined the character for this generation, demonstrating that superheroes and supervillains are developing their own mythology. I was a king, the rightful king of Asgard. Betrayed. A sly trickster that's constantly throwing his enemies for a loop, this mischievous god proves to be a worthy opponent for his adoptive brother and the Avengers. I said... No! Cocky, classy, and equipped with a delightfully devious grin, you can always count on Loki to liven things up. I am a god, you dull creature, and I will not be bullied by that. Number 5. Thulsa Doom, Conan the Barbarian. That is strength, boy. That is power. Is there even a slight possibility that they won't grow up to be evil? This wizard is so ruthless that he'll decapitate a mother in front of her young son without a hint of empathy. Merging is at last at hand. Day of Doom is here. He leads a cult that enslaves people's minds and, in his spare time, takes on the form of a snake during orgies. Infidel defilers. They should all drown in lakes of blood. Now they will know why they are afraid of the dark. To each his own, we guess. James Earl Jones naturally brings a commanding presence to the role with his trademark booming voice and a permanent dead glare of confidence in his eyes. We'd be tempted to jump off a cliff ourselves if he asked us to. You broke into my house, stole my property, murdered my servants and my pets, and that is what grieves me the most. Number 4. Emperor Palpatine, Star Wars Franchise So be it, Jedi. If force lightning and mind control aren't wizardry, we don't know what is. Now, young Skywalker, you will die. The king of all space wizards, this guy went from being the last of the Sith Order to emperor of the entire galaxy in a single generation. A feat he achieved by manipulating galactic politics openly as Senator Palpatine and from behind the scenes as Darth Sidious. Christ, Roy. I don't want this stunted slime in my sight again. There's no denying how brilliant and sinister this villain really is, and even when he's just sitting around rambling, he manages to both be dignified and menacing at the same time. The Emperor tempts us all to convert to the dark side. The Force is strong with him. The son of Skywalker must not become a Jedi. Number 3. Jafar, Aladdin. <laughs> Every aspiring Disney villain wishes they could be as fiendish as Jafar. <laughs> oh boy, he's cracked. He's gone nuts. Jafar! Jafar! Get a grip! <laughs> he both looks and sounds like a slithering snake, making one of his later transformations quite appropriate. Jafar, you vile betrayer! A master of deceit and disguise, Jafar uses his black magic to manipulate his way up the political ladder, going from advisor to sultan. Salam! Goodbye, see ya! Ex-Prince Ali! <laughs> of course, he goes a little too far when he uses one of his three wishes to become an all-powerful genie himself. While Jafar's aspirations for total domination result in his own downfall, watching his rise into power is simply hypnotizing. A snake, am I? Perhaps you'd like to see how snake-like I can be! Number 2. Saruman, the Lord of the Rings franchise. They will find the ring. And kill the one who carries it. Frodo. With a daunting stature and rich voice, the late, great Christopher Lee was born to play Saruman. If the wall is breached, Helm's Deep will fall. Hoarded up in his fortress for a majority of the Lord of the Rings trilogy, the White Wizard commands an army of orcs and even manages to take control of the King of Rohan from afar. Together, my Lord Sauron, we shall rule this Middle-earth. A 
Of course, it's Saruman who's truly a slave to the Dark Lord Sauron and the Palantir. A new power is rising. Its victory is at hand. Like many corrupt evil wizards that try to climb the summit of power, Saruman eventually falls victim to defeat, figuratively and literally. There will be no door for men. Before our top picks work their black magic on us, here are a few honorable mentions. A tip of the hat from Dr. Vassilier. How y'all doing? Well, I don't get this at all. I thought Lopin... Shut was... up, Mr. Burton. You are not brought upon this world to get it. Come on, Lopin is like... Nothing uh... you can understand. Number one, Lord Voldemort. Lying dormant for years after failing to kill an infant Harry Potter, the Dark Lord is one of the world's greatest sorcerers, able to command groups of Death Eaters to join him in his quest for blood purity in the wizarding world. I'm going to kill you, Harry Potter. I'm going to destroy you. Finally, after years of build-up, he who must not be named is resurrected in Harry's fourth year at Hogwarts. And boy, does he just ooze evil wizard. <laughs> after tonight... No one will ever again question my power. Powerful, influential, and with a snake-like visage, Lord Voldemort is everything that makes a dark sorcerer great. Of course, sir. It'll be our little secret. What adds another level of malevolence to him, however, is that his prejudices, philosophies, goals, and backstory parallel many real-life tyrants, ensuring that witches and wizards dare not speak his name and earning his spot as our number one pick. So, do you agree with our list? Who's your favorite evil movie wizard? Now you will watch me draw from the power of the universe to send the child into the netherworld. Now place it on the altar! For more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. You will become a true believer. <laughs>